the first big artist to rap on my beat was, was with Gucci. I was gotcha. the first person to put that stamp. First person to say Mike Will made it, you know what yeah. I'm saying? That's who really came with it. It was just Mike Will at first. And one of his verses, he was just like, Mike Will made it, Gucci Man slayed it, star status nigga, everybody upgraded, you know what yeah. I'm saying? And then ever, ever since then, everybody was like, yo, Mike Will made it, Mike Will made it. So I'm like, fuck it, we're gonna, we're gonna just change the name. I used to be like 15, 16, getting dropped off for of Patchwork. You know what I'm saying? That's like a big studio down here in Atlanta. And I'm, I'm young, and they like, man, this little young nigga just grinding. So yeah. one night, Blaze was like, man, hey, yo, hey, yo, man, Gucci upstairs. And brought me a CD, you know what I'm saying? And then I went upstairs. I was like, man, I'll be back. I got go to the bathroom. Whoa. Ran into Gooch, I'm like, Gooch, check out the CD, you know what I'm saying? And Gooch went in the lounge. He came out, he was like, hey, shout you, you little shawty with the beats. Hey, hey, come, hey, come, come listen to this shit I just did. So I went in there, so he was just rapping and shit to me. Shit was hard. I'm like, damn, nigga, Gooch just came with a hard ass out of my beat. So I'm a, I'm a little young nigga, so you know you're gonna put the pressure on me. Hey, man, I got a stack for the beat. I got a stack for the beat, man, I need to track out. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, man, you know, you gotta talk to my people about that, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I ain't have no I ain't have no people. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. He was like, yo, I like you, bro. You a little player. Mike will make it. Gucci man slave. Star steady nigga, everybody upgraded. John got a and being with Gucci every night, you know what I'm saying? Like being at Zaytoven house, that's where Gucci used to um, record all the time. You know what I'm saying? Like Zaytoven, I was like a brother. He'll be like, hey, yo, da da da, come over here today. And Gucci will come through, and then, you know what I'm saying? Gucci will tell him, like Rocco, or, you know what I'm saying? Different people like that. Like, yo, hey, yo, this little shawty with the beats. So my cousin, they live in St. Louis or whatnot, and my cousin was just like, um, he raps too, his name July. So he was just like, yo, um, man, you gotta link with my boy Future, man. He be down there in Atlanta, man. I'm telling y'all be crazy together. I'm like, man, oh, okay, you know what I'm saying? All right, bet, you know what I'm saying? Everybody told me that now. I'm doing all the joints for Gooch, you know what I'm saying? So he was like, man, you don't know Future would be your Rocco? I'm like, nah, I know Rocco, you know what I'm saying? I only know his people. Around like 2010, you know what I'm saying? I, like, I felt like the A was kind of in the slope, you know what I'm saying? Like, Gooch was locked up, Tip was locked up, you know what I'm saying? Jeezy was kind of fell back. And so, I'm in Magic one day, just kicking it, you know what I'm saying? Having a drink or whatnot. And then, um, I just hear that, watch this, come on. My dog called a 30 and he said he gonna pill it. I'm blowing through the racks like a fan on the ceiling. She got that stupid brain, but my heart ain't got no fun. Ain't got no ice that for real, dog. Pulling up, throwing up. I'm just listening like, yo, who the hell is spitting all this, all this hard ass street shit with this auto tune on his voice? So I, I run into, um, DJ Esco, you know what I'm saying? I'm just telling him like, yo, bro, I'm about to go on a run. 2011 and I ain't bullshitting, you know what I'm saying? Like, I need you behind me, you know what I'm saying? He was like, nah, I got you, ooh, ooh, whatever you need. I just want you to work with my artist. I'm like, who your artist? He was like, Future. He was like, man, he got that song called Watch This Right Now. I'm like, oh, man, that's my shit. That's when me and Future got in, we started working on Dirty Sprite. And later on, my cousin came down here, and he was supposed to link with Future, and then he was like, yeah, I'm about to link with my boy Future. I'm like, man, that's my nigga. He's like, nigga, that's the same nigga I've been trying to tell you about. Mike Will made it. My mama said, fuck it, nigga, hit the streets and live. Got some crack in the corner, and I did what I did. Time to play this part, like, me and Future linked up. We clicked. We both dropped each other out, because around, like, two months after we did Dirty Sprite, Tupac back came out. Tupac back. Tupac back. That's all these bitches screaming that Tupac back. And when Tupac back dropped, boom, now I got a single. So now it's solidifying the nigga that he already fucking with, you know what I'm saying? And Tupac Bat, that was definitely my first single. I thought it was gonna be a Rick Ross record. I ain't even know who Meek Mill was, you know what I'm saying? So they were like, yeah, man, um, my artist Meek Mill got on it, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, all right, cool, you know what I'm saying? I'm waiting to hear it. So uh, the track had a whole bunch of energy, and then, you know what I'm saying? I knew Ross was gonna kill it when it, when it came out, and then I heard Meek Mill with even more energy, you know what I'm saying, just going crazy on the two pop back. I'm too black strap, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm always with fucking with the next artist, like the next talent, like the next person who's gonna pop off, so I felt like that was like the song that popped Meek Mill off and me off. Mike Wilmer. Mike Wilmer. Bands make her dance. Bands make her dance. Established in 1989. 
Part two is just really just showing the growth. Like part one had Gucci, Future, Two Chains, of course. You know what I'm saying, Walker. It was like more catered, like more catered towards the streets. You know what I'm saying? And it was like just street and gritty, but it still had a couple. You know what I'm saying, laid back chill songs. But um, part two, I'm about to just like kind of just show the growth. You know what I'm saying? Like every mixtape, like my baby picture gonna keep getting older until it's until it's me. You know what I'm saying? I got like French Montana, Mac Miller. Uh, Rick Ross, Meek Mill, Drake, Two Chains, Future, Gucci. I mean, I got a whole bunch of people uh, on the part two. So this one, you might hear some, you might hear like more ballads. You know what I'm saying? You might hear like a pop melody, but then it go to the next joint where it's just the the another ignorant street joint. You know what I'm saying? And then another club joint. Like I might bring Dirty Sprite and put it on this next time. You know what I'm saying? I just want to make a classic CD. Stretching that. Rich niggas tipping, broke niggas looking.